So you see, it is not that hard. So let's start learning to, to set our keys. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm just going to put them in a pose that I like. And we're going to make him do a wave. Okay. Now this controls the elbow. Okay, so it flips it. So we'll just flip it over so it just looks a bit normal. And let's just give him a nice facial expression. One thing that you probably want to do is you probably want to practice some rapid posing using this character so that you can get used to moving him around quicker. Okay, so if you remember what we, what we talked about earlier, you can move the character using W and E. So W is for translate, E is for rotate. So let's just give him a nice smile. This can now give us some better control over the mouth. So let's just make it and just pinch the corners. And then we can open this. Also, one of the most important things that I forgot to mention is if you're wondering how I'm moving it around without touching it, well, that's because once you select a control, and you're on this, translate, you can just middle mouse move it around. It doesn't work with rotate. Rotate, you'd have to like control it within the sphere. Okay? So, let's give him a nice smile. And, okay, this is my pose. Now I'm going to go shift, middle mouse, select controls, and I'm going to put a key on everything. And then, don't worry about timing. Don't worry about understanding how timing works. All you have to understand is the further keys are apart, the slower the movement. The closer they are, the faster the movement. That's it, right? And all we want is some nice smooth mo movement. So things that just, you don't want something that comes to a complete stop. And I'll explain how that works. So I'm going to go to frame 10 because I want him to stand in this pose for a while. And then I'm going to just add a little bit of time. And I s let's say... I want to make I want to make him go, do a quick wave. So he's going to like do his wave pretty fast. So like from here to there. Let's change his pose. Make him go like this. He's happy. He lifts his hand up. Let's change this pose as well. Make him like doing that. Maybe he opens his mouth even more. His eyebrows can go higher because he's happier. And there's a nice thing here on the side which we can use to close his eyes. So if I select that and I use the middle mouse to drag, it changes it from 0 to 1. You see that? And then I can change it as well from when it's closed between a happy and a sleep. So let's make him happy. And I'll do the same for this side could do this by the way you can grab both and just go like that okay so let's do this and up here we've got a nice control which is a squash and stretch control so we can squash him and sweat stretch him a bit right so let's let's stretch him out a bit and then now let's set a key here now let's let's see what happens if you click on that it takes you all the way back to the beginning of the timeline let's let's hit play let's see what happens you see that not so hard. Now, do we want to keep him in this pose for a while? Yeah, let's keep him there. Let's maybe go down to frame 24 and in between it, let's make his hand wave. So let's go like this, rotate it, and then let's come back here and rotate it. Let's look what happens now. Now you see there's one thing though that's kind of making it feel a bit weird. You see how this, this, this is what I was talking about earlier when I said we want to make it move smoothly, right? So you see how this just comes to a complete stop? Look at that. Look at, look at the edge. Look at the, I'm going to hide the controls for a second. You see the edge over here? Look at how it just stops suddenly, right? We don't want that. We want it to be smoother. So how do we do that? Well, if he's 
moving a little bit between frame 14 and 24, we'll get that softer movement. So let's say I grab this, just move him up a little bit, maybe even rotate him. Look at that now, he's going to be a little bit smoother. You see that? That's all it is. That is how you make nice animation. You just you want things to just be slightly soft in their movement. See that? You notice anything else that we could fix? You see this arm? See how it also does the same thing where it just stops? Well, let's do the same thing. Let's come over here, just make it smoother. Is there anything else that you think we can do? Yep. So from here to here, he's kind of super still, isn't he? So how about we make him, before he goes up, you know how when you want to jump, you need to go down a bit. So let's make him go down a little. Well, let's do that for him here. So how about between these two here, okay, we can make him go down and make his arm go that way and do this just so that the arm looks better. You see that? Now, there's a few things obviously that we can fix, but that's not the point. The point is to not make you get scared of animation. It's very simple, and you just have to keep practicing. You just have to keep trying different things, right? Now, there are different techniques that you need to learn along the way, but let's say that you know, you could just go ahead and, and read about them, you can go online and, and see all these different tutorials, but the best way is to keep trying to just make things look smooth, right? That's basically what it is. Let's try a different exercise.